Hello, this is Pamela. Welcome to my channel. Grab you a cup of coffee, sit back and relax, and enjoy some yarny goodness. Hello, this is Pamela, and you are on Pamela's Adoring Crochet. And I would like to say, um, if you are new to my channel, welcome. And um, I hope you enjoy it here. Well, today's video, I just want to show off uh, some yarn that I bought, a couple pattern books that I bought, and um, this cardigan that I'm wearing. Uh, so we'll start with the cardigan. Might as well just go right into it now. And when I did the seams, I just single crocheted the seams together. I did um, the ribbed here, and my daughter had bought me these right here uh, with my name. It says Pamela Sue's Handmade Creation, so I've got that on there. And for the pockets, I just put a button on that I had bought at Hobby Lobby. Uh, so I sewed two buttons on. And on the bottom, I did a single crochet edging. You're supposed to have this on the bottom, but I felt like it was... Um, long enough already and so i did not add that um but um that's okay i like it this way anyway so it's called the uh, coffee shop cardigan there you go and this was a paid kit that came with the pattern and the yarn and my daughter had gifted this to me earlier this year like maybe january or february <laughs> and i'm just now getting around to it um this is very toasty. I love this. This is probably going to be the one that I'm going to wear because I'm not a big coat person. I get hot a lot um, in bulky clothes. And so I will probably be wearing this just about the whole winter season. I mean, it has to be really cold in order for me to wear a coat. And um, if our winter is anything like it was last year here in Arkansas, there, it was a light winter. Uh, I don't even know if I ever drug out a Coke. Coat. <laughs> Um, but anyway, uh, this pattern, it is a paid, paid per kit online brand called the Shoppy. Co <laughs> I can't even talk today. Um, so bear with me while I get through this video. Hope it, hopefully, see, I did it again. Hopefully I can talk better. <laughs> um, it's called the Coffee Shop Card and it says designer Evelyn and Peter Crochet, Rachel Meisner, line brand, homespun yarn, pattern number B. 70608 and it says it is a beginner pattern that's probably why i was able to do it so good i mean it was super easy um it did call for i made the large i could have made the medium and i think it would have fit just fine as well but i did make the large it, and the kit came with six skeins the medium and large both call for six skeins of the homespun yarn um like i said the length if I'd have made a medium, I could have put the, um, what do you call it, the back post and, and front post double crochets on the bottom of my, of this cardigan. But since um, I made the large, it made it a little longer for me. Um, and so I couldn't put that on there, you know, because then it would have been just a little bit too long for me. And I didn't really want that. But yes, I love this. It was my first time to use homespun yarn. And, um, so yes, yeah, so I used, it came with six of these and the color is called Rocco. Uh, if you're interested in this, it is a, it was 185 yards and it is a five bulky, 98% acrylic, 2% other fiber. And guys, this is all I had left out of six. That's it. I mean, so I wouldn't have had, I don't think I'd had enough to have done the um the rows that i needed for the bottom anyway well i might would have uh because this only called for two and i think i did three and then i did three here when it only called for two i think i wanted mine thicker or wider i guess you could say and the same as here so um there might have been enough to do two rows on the bottom like it called for but yeah that was so anyway, I did like this yarn. Oh, what size of hook did I use? I was thinking I used, yeah, a J hook. I mean, a K hook, I'm sorry, a 6.5 millimeter. And I worked this up really fast. Um, 
I worked on it like just a little bit in the evenings, like just before bed. Uh, I did my, all my other things during the day. And at the end of the day, before I go to, went to bed, I'd watch a few YouTube videos and or listen to them. I'd have my phone sitting there next to me in the bed. And I would just kind of sit up and um, crochet, you know, a little bit on this. And um, it was really fast. I liked it because it was not a lot of thinking. Um, there was only on the sleeves because of the decreasing but that was really it. And then right in here, there was some increases, you know, to get this to go, um, have that, let's see, where it goes around like that instead of just being straight up. You know, you do have to do some, I guess, increases, decreases, and then some increases. Well, no, because you started small, so you did increases. That's right. You did increases, and then you started, uh, I don't even think it was decreases. I think it was just straight down. So that was it. Yeah, you started small up here and then you did increases and then to a certain point, then you just went straight down. Yeah, so it's just, so, so many rows, you just go straight down. The only thing that I'd say I didn't care too much about the yarn, but it's not enough to keep me from making another one or something else in this yarn because I love this yarn. Um, it's the way the yarn does when you cut it. It does this. And so, to get your needle in there, to weave in your ends, like I would, it's, you know, you can do this real small and get it in there, but then you have leftover fibers that kind of hang out. So, what I would do is whenever I was changing yarn, it wasn't a big deal changing yarn because I weaved it in as I crocheted, but it was, um, I guess, like at the end of a cuff you know, when you actually got finished with something. So it wasn't like I we had to weave in too much. Um, but when I would, I would cut it like right here. And I would leave like, normally you leave a little string about like that. I would leave a little bit longer because that much of it, see, I probably have to cut off. So like I would end up cutting that off and I'd end up with that. So I did find that I needed to leave a little bit of a longer string only because of that part. But it wasn't a big deal, and I didn't have to weave in too much because, you know, I just, as I changed yarn, I just weaved it in as I crocheted. <laughs> anyway, so uh, I like this yarn, my first time ever using it, and um, I do have some blue yarn right there, right there, that I'm very anxious to get started on to make something else. I would actually like to make another one of these since it was so quick. And I already have the pattern. I just need some more of the yarn. So uh, when next time I get to my Joann's or somewhere, uh, of course, I could probably just order it online. I'm going to get me some more of that yarn because um, I really like it. Anyway, so moving on from there, um, you know, in my last video, I showed this. And, you know, I think I forgot to tell you what color this was. This is, and I know people were asking in my last video, this is called Surf was the one. But I did go back, like I said I was, and I bought another one. <laughs> and it has more of the greens mixed in with the blue, and this is called Dragonfly. But isn't it beautiful? And so I did not realize that I was buying two that kind of have the blue tones to them. But at least this does have some green mixed in with it. But it's like now I don't know which one I want to work with first. <laughs> But I'm very excited about getting started on these. And as you remember, I do have a pattern picked out. It's the um, something pullover, the Manhattan pullover pattern. And it is a paid for pattern on uh, Annie's. Gosh, y'all, I'm sorry, but the two patterns I'm showing you guys are paid for patterns today. I wanna show you some free stuff, but I don't have any today. Um, so I apologize for that. But if you like them, uh, go check them out and buy the pattern. Um, anyway, so the other thing is I got the sock book. I saw this at Joann's and, um, aren't those adorable? Look at those socks, guys. I'm like, I want to make those. And then here's some on the back. This right here, I'm really impressed with, but this I'm impressed with. And this right here are probably going to be the first things that I try to make in here. So, and you know, guys, you know, I love slippers. Um, oh gosh, I didn't even see this on the back. So there's more patterns inside. Look at that. 
huh, I just happened to turn the page. Look at this, guys. Wow, so there's more stuff in here than what's on the back. Yeah. Yeah, these leg warmers really are pretty. Look at that up close. So I'm pretty excited to get started on some things out of this book. Let's go see if there's a page that... Oh, yeah, this is the ones that I really want to do right there. Look at that. I'm really excited about that one. Um, that will probably be my first one. I want to do this one as well. But I don't know. I mean, I don't have that yarn, so mine wouldn't come out looking that adorable <laughs> because I don't have that kind of yarn. But here's another leg warmer type thing. My daughter would love something like that. I made her some leg warmers last year. She wear, she is a boot girl. <laughs> okay, so anyway, I found this at Joann's. They were 30% off, and I think the regular price was $5.99, so I probably paid 4 bucks or something for it. Okay, so the other thing that I found when I was there on my second trip, I found this on my first trip, so I might have showed it in yesterday's video with the plentiful yarn. I can't remember, but if I did... At least you got a closer look because I don't think in that video I showed it, um, the inside pages. Anyway, so this one, look what I found, guys. Isn't this adorable? Look at there. And it was 30% off at Joann's. And this has been on my Amazon wish list for a while. And um, I thought with 30% off, and then I think I got an extra 20% off my total purchase. Um... Just look at the raccoon, for instance. Look, isn't that adorable? This is going to have some beautiful patterns in it. I mean, and then the illustrations in it. I mean, it's just gorgeous the way they do the illustrations. See, like they have, um, like on the raccoon, you know, like they'll show front, back, and then they show like a cartoon part of it. I mean, that's really cool. These people went all out when they did this video. I mean, did, when they did this video, when they did this book. Um, like Rosie the horse. Look at the way they did this whole page. Let's see if I can see. Okay, like there she is. And then see how they do a little cartoon type of it. Yeah, this is going to be. i tell you what one of my favorite ones is in here. I mean, I have a lot of favorite. But look at this one. The way they show her. <laughs> Um, I would like to make her for myself. Here she is. There's her cartoon part, but her name is Nene. And that is my mom's, what well, uh, all the grandkids call my mom is Nene. <laughs> so I might have to make this for her instead of me or make me one later. But, um, I mean, I just can't get over how beautiful this book is. But the one, one of them I want to show in here, I just thought was really cute. And then I'll let you go on the book. Um, if I can find the page. I just can't get over how adorable. And if you have any kids or grandkids, they will love just looking at this book just for the photos. I mean, my goodness. The photos alone is like worth looking at. Okay, I'm going to have to see um, where they are. Okay, here, here we go. The one I want to show. Okay, page 114. I want to show you this one because I like the pants on this one. Isn't that crazy? Um, I was like, oh my gosh. I like this. Let's see, page 114. <laughs> it's called Vivi the Bunny. But look at that. Isn't that crazy? I just love those pants. And then there's the cartoon of it. I just think this is adorable. <laughs> oh, it doesn't take much to excite me, does it? Um, but yeah, I love the illustration. See, they're so colorful of showing you how to put things together. I love it. This was a good book. Um, $21.95 uh, is the price, and I got 30% off that and an uh, extra 20%. So, yeah. Oh, and then on Amazon, uh, I ran out, well, I didn't run out, but I was getting low on my shipping bags that I ship my uh, kitchen towel holders in. But look, I found some really cute ones this time. 
So I was able to get these. So I'm instead of just the solid gray, well, this is for my six by nine packages. Um, my larger 10 by 13 bags, I just really couldn't afford these in the bigger size because they get more expensive. So I just bought a solid blue in those. Um, not a big deal. And, um, but yeah, these were really pretty. So I'm gonna try and switch these up. Like when I get low on these, I'm gonna order another pattern because, you know, they were pretty affordable, you know, for shipping bags. Um, okay. I guess we'll go do our, uh, days, 365 days of prayer. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Um, I had so much fun, uh, getting this video together for you guys. Um, I was pretty excited. So, <laughs> okay. So today's, um, 365 days of prayer is confidence. It says, do not throw away your confidence. Lord Jesus, there are so many things to admire about you, so many things to learn from your perfect example. Today, I am meditating on your confidence. That very first miracle when the water became the finest wine, did you doubt even for a second that it would? Even once, as you healed someone, did you wonder, what if it doesn't work this time? Of course you didn't. You had the confidence of the Father, the same assurance available to me. Help me remember, Lord, that I can approach the throne with authority. You gave me that right when I confessed my belief in you. Don't let me throw it away on something as worthless as doubt. How do you place your confidence in your Heavenly Father? This was very good today. I think we all struggle with confidence. Um, oh, in the Bible scripture, I forgot. It was in Hebrews 10, 35, if you want to look that up. Uh, yes, I thought this was very good for today. Okay, um, that is all that I have. Um Oh, yeah, don't forget that tomorrow um, is the giveaway for, I don't know if I can pick this up, for all the pink yarn. That's tomorrow. I'll be announcing the winner. Um, what else do I have? Oh, yeah, I'm getting close to 6K, guys. So, I'll be having a giveaway for that. So, be looking forward to that. Um, I guess that's really it. Um, I just thank each and every one of you for uh, coming in and watching and supporting me. Um, I love every one of you and I love the comments and the thumbs up. <laughs> so thank you guys. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.